so I didn't really need that. Oh, the oops, bang my head connection because all I've done is put a T section into the air and the air lock, right? And then I'll just whack three pounds of pressure and see what happens. <laughs> CO2, beer. CO2, beer. Right, next job. I've got to uh, do a T section down into a bottle. Right, so that's my next step. So uh, I'll try and put those into the uh, beer lines, into the beer taps. Hmm, will it work? Right, give it a whirl then. Right, I've cut the pipe a little bit short, so I've had to stand it on a on a weight. But I've not sterilised or anything this yet, I've just seen if it works basically. So what I'll do is add a bit of uh, CO2. Okay, and then put the beer tap on and see what happens. Oh, well that's clearly not working. So we need some sort of seal round there to stop the beer from coming out of there. Right. Unfortunately what I didn't realise is under these tabs there's a a little hole just there. A little hole. I don't know what it's for. I stop blockages, I suppose. So uh, to get the beer to run properly, I've got to block that off. Okay, we come to the Eth Robinson part, <laughs> and to just try it out, uh, I've you could do with two um, toothpicks, I guess. That are nice round, uh, rounded points. But just to block those off for now, I've just uh, put a sharp edge on a, on a match. And look, at the bottom here, look, see these rings? Those. I've just put those off. They're keg uh, rings for, you know, the tubes. So I've just put one on each side just to, to see if that'll work. And unfortunately the, the beer is too fizzy, is uh, too bubbly. So I've got to wait for it to settle. So, uh, and then... I'll give it a folks, the next thrilling instalment of the uh, the guessing of the beer malarkey didn't work. Um, it had just about knackered my system up. So this is um, a never give up sort of episode next. <laughs> Experiment time. Right, I've got my beer line in and that's going down there there down to this lot which is just the normal um, party keg tap then I've got a bit of beer line that fits exactly in there a tight fit then I've got a rubber no it's not a rubber is it it's a it's a proper um, line I don't think it's rubber uh, whatever it is so that is really flexible it's a bendy thing right so then I'll go up to the bottom of the of the uh, of the uh, bottle there, right? And then <laughs> in my hand look, if you can see it, where is it? Here we go. I've got one of them bloody bottle thingies, fillers. And that goes on to the end of a bit of rubber piping 
that goes all the way over here because I wanted an airline, airline CO2 line. So that goes to my CO2, and that's uh, been clipped onto to that gizmo there. So if I bung it in my star sign, like this lot, no bubbles, press it, so that comes out more. So if I bung that in there, I'll do it uh, with two hands and I'll come back. Right, so press that. So that's the air going in, uh, CO2 going in, and then I press that one. Oops. But you get the drift. So I'll pull those out. And there it is, my first bottle. Now I'm not totally convinced with this uh, filling bottles up from the keg malarkey with all the modern gadgets, etc. Because I've got a feeling that. I'm bound to be wrong. Um, if you fill the bottle up full to the top, it's going to push out all the air anyway. And then when you move the the what's it out, the the dispenser thing, it's it's going to give you a gap of air anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dispense a few bottles from a keg straight into the bottle, cap it straight away, and then I want to do a test taste in a week or so. So let's see what happens. Oh, bloody hell. So any road up, I've star sand my bottle, I've star sand the uh, the tube and I've sprayed some star sand up, up the what's it there to clean it. So let's try it and see what happens. Oops, I want to have a tray underneath it, I suppose. So I'll cap that and see what happens. So that was two weeks ago that I uh, filled my bottle up, and uh, I don't know whether you can see very well, but it, it's quite clear, I guess. The bottles are a bit mucky, so uh, let's whip the cap off and, and try it and see what it's like. So, a little bit of this, and uh, let's do the pour. Um, you can see the carbonation there, but it doesn't look too bad to me. Nice and clear. And I've just, uh, what I did, I also filled up about, I should imagine, about 20 bottles of this and uh, 20 bottles of the. Uh, the Guinness clone, and I took them to. I went on a stag weekend uh, with the family to to Ben and, and Mark's stag do in Derbyshire, and I took a load of this, and it went down a treat. But yeah, look at that. So let's give it a. It smells nice, and what I did before I come up here as well. I was just making sure there were no 
sediment bits on the bottom so I gave it a good shake as well so it's still pretty clear quite pleased with that so uh, two weeks in the bottle can't taste any badness from the fresh air that went in the top so uh, I'm going to go for this method. So wish me luck with the the lads brew. I'm going to make a might do a fresh one and uh, get it ready for for the lads do in six weeks time. So thanks for watching the old fart and cheers. Mm.